Hi everyone, it's Finks here and today I'm bringing you another Valheim video. Now today's video will be showing you how to fully upgrade your forge to level 7. I did previously do a video on the workbench and fully upgrading the workbench to level 5. So if you haven't seen that, I will leave a link to that in the description of this video. And if you need help leveling your workbench then please feel free to check that one out. Before we get started, if you like this video and you find it helpful, please do leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel or leave a comment on something you'd like to see me do next. I'm always up for suggestions. Without further ado, let's go. The first thing you'll need is, of course, a hammer because you need that for all your building in, in this game. Uh, you also need a workbench and you also need all, this thing, all these things that I have uh, on the ground over here, which we're not going to pay too much attention. I'm just going to dip in and out of this as and when I need it. So I believe as soon as you have copper smelted, you will unlock a forge. Now this is going to look like this, and it's going to need 4 stone, 4 coal, 10 wood, and 6 copper, and a workbench present. Um, now obviously we have a workbench present, so we just need to get the stone, coal, and wood, and copper. So I'm just going to take it from this uh, selection of materials here, and it's going to tell me I'm carrying too much, but that's okay, because we're going to quickly build this. Um, over here. Now, I'm assuming you already have a forge if you're looking to fully upgrade it, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. But what you will notice in your crafting tab uh, when using your hammer is these other items which have a star in the top left of their box. Now, these are forge improvement items which you need to put within close vicinity of your forge, and that's basically going to take it from being a one star forge, um, as you can see just in the upper right hand corner here. Um, and you're basically going to be able to take your forge to level 7. Now, the next thing you're going to need is either of these. I'm going to start on the bellows unlocked when you unlock chains. Now, chains are found in the swamp biome either by killing wraiths or looting chests in sunken crypts, which you get after defeating the second boss, the Elder. So if you haven't done that yet, you're not going to be able to take your forge to level 7, but that's okay. You can still watch this video and, you know, resort back to it once you've got to that stage of the game. So the forge bellows take five wood, five deer hide, and five and four chain. Sorry, and the chain is probably going to be the thing which you may not have unlocked yet, and hence don't have this um, this recipe. So we already have the wood. We're just going to need the deer hide. And what I've noticed about the bellows is they need to be placed very close to the forge. So I think you're basically replacing the existing bellows on the forge with this. So I just like to place it something like that. And if we go into our forge now, we can see it's upgraded to level two because we have one improvement um, which has this this chain link back to the forge. Next up we have the anvils which takes two bronze, five wood and a workbench. I believe you get this unlocked when you first make yourself bronze um, which is by making two copper and one tin together on the forge that is. Um, so we're going to take our anvil here and as you can see it has this link to the forge. I'm going to place it somewhere around here. I like to keep this stuff quite tight because some of the other improvements um, tend to take up a little bit more room. And then next up we have the grinding wheel. Now the grinding wheel is one of those things which seems quite easy to get. When you're looking at it, it needs 25 stone and a sharpened stone, but you're actually going to need to craft yourself a stone cutter to get this grinding stone. So the stone cutter here is unlocked. The recipe for it is unlocked when you get iron, I believe. And it needs 10 wood, 2 iron and 4 stone. So we're going to go ahead and take our uh, take our wood here and take um, one of our stacks of iron. It's going to tell us we're carrying too much, but we're just going to try and get ourselves over here anyway. Allow us to place this down, and if we use our stone car, we're going to be able to see a sharpened stone for five stone. So I'm going to go ahead and craft one of these. Now we have it in an inventory, and we still are overburdened with materials, but that's okay. Gonna drop down our 40 wood over here because we don't really need it at this exact moment. Now for the grinding wheel we need one sharpened stone and 25 wood. So it turns out we do actually need this wood, so I'm just gonna pick it back up. Go on here, get our grinding wheel. And like I say, this stuff here is typically taking up a little bit more room as you can see. Um, so I just like to keep it fairly compact. Um, something like this might not actually be too bad. And then next up, we have the Smith's Anvil. Again, I think this is unlocked when you first unlock iron. So we're gonna grab the rest of our iron here. And can't remember if this is... Yeah, so it's just ordinary wood for this 
this main anvil. Now we have our anvil on the side, it makes sense. Let's just pop this one over here. But as you can see, this one takes up a lot more space, right? Especially than some of the, the initial upgrades. So you can actually place it like a relative distance. Uh, I think you can still place it like above and below as well, which uh, is an option if you're running out of space. Something like that's going to do. And now you can see we have one, two, three, four, and it's going to take us to level five, which is actually the max level of the workbench. But the forge has two other upgrades we can do to make it up to level seven. Next up, we have the forge cooler, which takes 25 fine wood and 10 copper. I'm going to come over here, grab the rest of our fine wood, and make ourselves a forge cooler, which does take up a little bit of space. So obviously, I'm probably going to come back and move this all around again. But for for the sake of argument and this video, everything within close vicinity and quite a bunch of stuff like this will do. Now, the last thing to take our Forge 2 level 7 is going to be this Forge 2 rack here. Now, it's going to take 15 iron, 10 wood, and a workbench present, which is, you know, not, not too big. Once you've managed to scavenge scrap metal from one sunken crypt, you could typically get about 80 or 90 iron bars from one sunken crypt. Um, if you load it properly and this will pretty much give you all of these upgrades if you don't want to you know use it on other things i recommend probably getting the pickaxe or like a sword or something like that first um but once you do have adequate iron you can make all of these forge upgrades pretty pretty easily so we're going to place that here and now if we go back onto our forge we can see we have level seven now a lot of these items don't actually level up to level seven but some of them do so you know having the option there actually does make it worthwhile now that's all for this video, if you liked the video or you found it helpful at all, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel uh, because it helps me out, it lets me know that these videos are actually worthwhile doing and it also lets YouTube know that yourself and other people who watch similar content will actually like this video or find it helpful. So hopefully this video helped and I will see you next time.